Hiya, the, this, I bought this little CRT, I actually bought the whole little monitor uh, because it was just such a, a cute little cathode ray tube. This is a very small colour cathode ray tube, it only measures about 13 centimetres diagonally, and it's about 5 inches across here. So very, very small, and it has a shadow mask, you can just, just about make the shadow mask out at the, this point here. Uh, and it has a, a, an inline gun at the, at the back, uh, made by Panasonic. So I bought it, bought the old monitor really just for the CRT, but ended up uh, being able to fix the thing anyway. So it's nice just to keep it all together. So I've cleaned it all up. I'm just going to reassemble it and test it. But it was just to show the uh, nicely made little CRT, as I say, obsolete technology these days. It's interesting they didn't come with any degaussing despite having a shadow mask. Normally shadow mask tubes require degaussing, but it does have a little kind of mu metal uh, screen that fits around this part of the of the CRT here. But otherwise there was no no degauss required. So that just clamped round the round with the shadow mask to reduce the any magnetic fields the starting there and this is just our earth strap. At this point here and the connection for it which sits on there which is onto this aquadagger graphite coating on the outside here. So this is the uh, main circuit board that comes with well, came with the whole monitor. Um, little line output flyback transformer here uh, and this, the socket for the base of the CRT. Uh, analog circuit, you no know, digital inputs, uh, delay line for so as you got on older analog systems so that part of it's kind of obsolete as such uh, part of the tuning circuit here uh, I was going to say about what the problem was is the uh, the 12 volts feed is here and it's cracked away from the board so for all it's not working that all that's wrong with it is that it needs some solder added to the socket so that's a fairly straightforward easy repair uh, good old fashioned lead solder for this. Okay, this is it clipped back into its base, uh, and there's just one screw holds the circuit board in place. Now uh, the uh, CRT can fit into its front panel. Attach our high voltage and our connection. Now, and our def deflection yoke into the board, and then also the socket back onto the CRT. And that's it, more or less back together. Just had to solder the wire. The, from the casing, from the, the, the earth for the CRT, connected to the earth on the back there. And it's all fitted back in, so I can try it out and see if it works. You're all very familiar with the front of the screen you're looking at right now, but if you look closer, look at the back. In the back, there's an assembly here with a nitron gun, uh, convergence magnets there, and a deflection coil here, which produces the scans to build up your picture. These all come off and there's also a degauss coil here. But we're going to take a little bit closer to look inside because we've got bits and pieces in here. So, uh, I don't mind. That's the electron gun assembly. You can see the uh, here, there's a, what they call a shadow mask. Something I was trying, because there's no degauss coil on this, uh, I thought if I bring up a magnet you'll see that it can change the picture. Um, but it doesn't magnetise it anything like as much as a normal uh, image. On a pure red background you tend to notice the colour changes much much clearer. Now that would normally stay on a 
normal CRT with an iron shadow mask. The fact that that doesn't magnetize quite as much suggests a smaller iron content than usual in this shadow mask, although there is a little bit of purity showing up. And we can degauss as well. So there's a slight magnetization, but not as much as you would expect on an ordinary CRT. A little bit of extra information. Uh, I mentioned the delay line. Uh, this is the inside of a, an analog delay line as used in the televisions latterly. The, uh, this makes use of sound waves to allow for a delay. So this, there are two little uh, piezo crystals here, the transducers, that will produce a, a sound, an ultrasound wave, which will travel through this glass plate. And the route it's designed to travel is following this kind of path here. So you'll get a delay uh, uh, for your luminance signal, uh, which can then be composed with the chrominance, which uh, takes a little bit more processing. Uh, the little dots are for kind of dampening, so that the that reduces kind of reflection noises as well. So quite an amazing little device.